station on space to ground. Three million photos and counting. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Dan Hewitt. Photography on the space station crossed an unbelievable milestone this week. Since the first expedition arrived more than 15 years ago, crew members have now taken over 3 million images on board the International Space Station. These include shots of science, thousands of maintenance photos for engineers on the ground, views of life on board, and tons of our beautiful planet. The Expedition 47 crew marked the occasion with this group shot inside the Russian service module. A lot of science is set to return on SpaceX's Dragon next week, and one small module shows just how diverse the fields of study can be. The NanoRacks 51 module was prepared for return this week, and it contains four very unique projects. Housed inside is an investigation studying antibiotic use to inhibit Staphylococcus aureus bacteria, a common cause of skin infections. Another study looking at the rate at which yeast decomposes organic matter. A plant growth study looking at whether steroid enhanced plants grow better in space. And even whether an enzyme derived from fireflies can cause bioluminescence in microgravity. This week, Stanley wants to know what the schedule is like on board ISS. How much time per day is spent conducting experiments? Well, one of the aspects of life in space astronauts like most is that every day is always different. The crew schedule is roughly split into three categories, science, maintenance, and daily life. So a normal day is about four hours of research, four hours of operational duties, and four hours of eating, exercising, and more. That balance is always shifting though, as some science experiments can consume a crew member's entire day, or if something critical breaks, the astronauts go into serious repair mode. And as we saw last week, the crew was buried under an avalanche of cargo as they packed Dragon to get it ready to leave. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.